So Jay, we know that with great resignation, now everyone is applying for jobs. So there's a lot of, for every job posting, there are maybe 100 or 200 applicants applying. So in terms of differentiating themselves, what tips do you have for job seekers to differentiate themselves and tell the employer, hire me and I can do great things to you? You know, I'm going to give a couple of tips and Meher, I'm going to ask you for a couple of tips, because to be honest, you, one of the things I've learned is go to the person who knows more, you <laughs> know, this space. So let me start and then get a couple of tips. Yes. One, know the company you're applying for. Don't just send out a generic resume. I can do software engineering that is incredibly valuable. Well, that's not helpful. Your company has faced this software challenge. Here's my experience with it. Tailor your resume. Yes. Two, focus less on you and more on value added for others. Yes. It's, not, it's not about my skills. It's about how my skills will help you. In a recent interview, you and I talked about what can I do that will help your customer have a better experience? Yes. And third is listen in the interview. Yes. When, well, that's the interview, not the resume. In your resume, really try to signal that you're willing to listen. What would you add? You, you are so good in this area. I would say prepare for the interview. As you mentioned, company, uh, read about the company, maybe their latest financial uh, report, latest financial uh, or product services that offering. And at the end, also ask questions because that's a must and follow up. And also I would say, besides job searching, you need to do things before even applying for a job, which is networking, personal branding, content creation, LinkedIn network. So those are combination of things. It's not just apply and get interviews. There are things that you need to do whole 36 degrees before even applying for a job. I love it. I love it. Uh, when you mentioned do your homework, spend 30 minutes on Google or Bing or whatever search engine on the company. Yeah. Glassdoor.com, the, their ISIS report, I, I, I'm amazed. We have a consulting firm and people come to us and say, so tell me a little bit about your company. And I'm going, uh, I don't need to right now because you're done. <laughs> I mean, because uh, you've not done your homework. Yes. Uh, so very, very, very good insights. And, uh, and I love the one. Let me just circle it and circle it and circle it. In the interview, don't be afraid to ask questions. Yeah. And start with the three words. Help me understand. Help me understand how your company uh, what your company needs in this role. Help me understand how my skills might be helpful to your customers. Help me understand who's done this job well so that I can make sure it's right for me as well. And I could circle and circle everything you said I want to yeah. circle. Uh, I love the follow-up. Yeah. Um, okay, great, like, great. Like great tips. And I hope the job six or whoever listen, implement that in their next job search and tune in next time for my final question with Dave.